yes, I did. Yes, I did. It was, uh, it was a great trip. <laughs> it was a great trip. And uh, but came back really tired. Like last night, I, I didn't even, I went to bed and I didn't even remember to turn off the lights in my room. <laughs> I woke up at 4 a.m. and I was like, how come I didn't even turn off my lamp? <laughs> yeah. So that's that's how tired I was by the time we got home yesterday. But it was it was really good to to come back home and and eat what you're used to. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's always a good thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. And how have you been? Um, pretty good. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I was uh, I was just before the while I was waiting for my other clients to come in. I was looking at your video. But I've not, I've not, that's the one from last week, but I've not really, uh, I, I saw it and, and I said I was going to come back to it because I didn't finish it, you know, but, uh, but how did that go? Um, I think it went okay. I mean, it, it could use some improvement, but, you know, like you said, like it's <laughs> done is better than perfect. And it's about talking about this, my path and how would I take people through and, okay. you know, it's. <laughs> I can, yeah. I'm sure as I work with people, that'll start to change. Or too. It'll, it'll yeah. find, that, yeah, yeah. It'll be easier to talk about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. And and while you're doing, while you're talking about your path, do you mm -hmm. are you beginning to see it like the people that you're talking to? Are you beginning to see them on the path? Yes, because I'm back working with. Um, my one client and she um she and I kind of talked about it last week too and that's exactly what happened was that space selection because she had been sick and then she had company for a couple of weeks so then everything kind of she just went with like I'm back to square one and and everything is a mess and then and then I said well those two drawers that you organized are they still organized yes yes they are I said well then you're not back at square one <laughs> there you go <laughs> that's it that's <laughs> so we're good. gonna do this again <laughs> we're gonna go back to step one but we're gonna choose a different space and so we talked about what priorities she had and stuff so yes I'm seeing it and then today I'm taking um, another acquaintance that I met, I've met along the way she was just doing, she's doing a money matters kind of five day challenge kind of thing. So I joined it because I like to help support other women entrepreneurs. And, you know, we were chatting and she's like, oh, you know, maybe we need to talk offline because, you know, I do still have some stuff in my office that I'd like to get organized and stuff. So, and she fits right into that same the audience that I want. So yeah, so it's it's happening as I get clear that I'm starting to see them more. Yeah. So it's kind of like a little spotlight goes on them. <laughs> right. That's, that, that's very good. Yeah, that's that's really good. Because if, if you be if you're beginning to find them with ease, like you can identify who they are when you see them, it, it makes uh it makes it easy for you to to be able to know what they really need that they're gonna pay you for, right? Right. For sure, for sure. Yes. And cool. then also uh, last week I had a Zoom meeting with um, another professional organizer who I've known for a couple of years, a few years. Mm -hmm. And she and I are talking about collaborating on a live once a month. And mm -hmm. she does hands-on organizing. I'm doing more of that so we can kind of collaborate in that sense because she comes at it a little bit differently than I would come at it so yeah mm -hmm. so we kind of had a little meeting about what that would look like and maybe eventually having guest speakers on and maybe eventually we we kind of threw on the idea of a podcast or something later mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that was kind of a a good thing from last week too so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's 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 very good congratulations we need more of them you know uh more more partnership more um, now, long long term partnership, you have to think about it a little bit more. Uh, yeah. But but if it's just you know I speak on your stage, you speak you speak on mine, um, it's it's much easier you know, and it's not a lot of commitment. Um, because again, the reason why we do all this is we want to get exposure to the other audience. Yeah, 
<laughs> you know, and then give her audience in your own, you know, exposure to your own people too, right? Uh -huh. So, so that's the reason why we're doing that. Not necessarily that we're looking for another uh, thing to do, right? Yeah, but we both want have wanted to do this for a while, okay. so we kind of okay. connected again. So that's something that yeah we are um, we've talked about before. So okay. we're just gonna oh, try. Okay see what happens so let's see what happens i love i love it i i really love it i i'm always you know doing I'm, in short i'm i think i'm scheduled i was supposed to be speaking on uh, with one of my acquaintances on sometimes yeah and, and no on thursday but i've canceled that now because my my little son's graduation from grade school like he's going to be going from grade six to seven and uh -huh. they're doing so he's switching schools and they're doing a party for them on, on thursday you know same time that i would have been going live you know with this other lady so so i decided you know what let's let's reschedule so so and and then next week i have another one and then you know so i have lots of them you know coming up like that uh it's it's really good it's so helpful uh, because you you get to um you get to just hear from other people and, mm -hmm. and you get to connect to people that that are ready right now right yeah you know, so yeah and then sometimes I've, I've discovered sometimes your own people may not be ready to buy from you yet but they are ready to buy from another person yeah and the same thing happens to their own people as well because people just like you for one reason or the other they will just connect with you, you know? right. uh -huh. Uh -huh. so so it's, it's really good to to get exposure you know to, to yes, people for so sure. the first one that you're going to be doing with her would be when um well we're we're um sometime in july that's when we're okay. going to do it because we wanted okay. to meet again and kind of okay. well we we wanted to go away and kind of solidify some ideas that we have and come back together and and uh see where we are from that sorry my dog is barking because my neighbor's dog is howling because his <laughs> owner left <laughs> I swear, <laughs> stop already. <laughs> For one it's, second, I'm just gonna yell at him. <laughs> Holy, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm laughing at you, I'm gonna yell at you. Well, <laughs> well it's your day. <laughs> I had to shut my window because the dog next door is like, oh, wow. <laughs> what's that? The owner left. It's just so sad. Oh, okay. Because her owner left. Oh. Yeah, his owner left and didn't take him with him, so he's oh. he's a little upset about it I, and crying. I hear, I yeah. <laughs> Animals. Animals. I met I met this cat in the in in Kenya where I was. And uh, and you know cats are just interesting. Like I, I'm not the best with animals. Like I, I'm afraid of animals. You know, and I and when I say I'm afraid of cats, people laugh at me because they're like, it's just a cat. It's just you know. But for me, so this cat came to me, and and I was saying to myself, maybe maybe I'll even get the confidence to lift this cat. So this is like, this would be really good. You know, and then the cat came to me and was on my feet and was moving around. And so I tried to, I tried to pet the cat. I was trying to pet the cat and, and then I was like, okay, now it's time for you to go. So I was petting the cat and he was flipping and saying, just keep going, keep going. I'm like, okay, I need you to go now. I need you to go. That's what they do. All through, all through the time, he was just looking for me everywhere. That's what and they I do. Like, cats oh, are- I don't want anymore. Cats love people who don't like them and they know that person as soon as they come into the room, a cat will know that person. That's the person they will go to every single time. <laughs> so so I, I wasn't able to achieve my dream of lifting the cat because I was just like, you know, please, please. Next time. Yeah. Next you, time. Pet, you, you petted the cat. So that's a, yes, that's a step in the right direction. Yeah. See? There you go. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so 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 that's that's really good. And um, okay, so that's I would take that as a win for this week. Um, and uh, and what what about your 
connections with people in your group? Do you have some people that you've chatted with, you know, whether it's on the on the live video or in DMs? Um, yeah, there's um, people that I have conversations with all along, but I'm having, since I started doing more along with the alignment of what it is I offer, I'm, I'm having more um, commenting on my videos and my posts and then, you know, some side conversations. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's slowly starting to change a bit. I'm noticing a change, but there is more commenting and conversation on my posts, which mm -hmm. has never happened before. So that's mm -hmm. kind of a thing. <laughs> yeah. that's, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. And, uh, and so now the, the people, we want more of that, obviously. We want more of that. Uh, but but now the other thing that you would also need to begin to pay attention to is all these people. Remember where we started from stacking audiences and, and all of that. We want to know now these people, you know, like have their names somewhere where in your form somewhere that you used before, you now identify these are hot leads and these are people that are ready you know, and maybe a few things that you need to still do to get them to see that you're the person to go uh, to go to. And then maybe some other things like um, what exactly is it that they need to see from you? OK, for them to know that they should go ahead and, and do, you know, get to the call. You're 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 doing calls with people. Right. If, if somebody was interested today, you would. Yeah, I have that them in the DMs, okay, and and then they'll book a call. Yeah, I have a um because I use Keep from Kathy, okay. so yeah, mm -hmm. I have it, the link set up so that they can book date or I can book it for them, okay. um, and then send them the Zoom link. Um, okay. so yeah, it's there. I can I can for sure do that, and I am offering it to certain people, but um, like if we go. I do kind of say, hey, would you like to book this or whatever? I do offer this or whatever, mm -hmm. however I say it. Mm -hmm. say it. Mm -hmm. um, but so far, no takers. But, you know, it's coming. It's com mm -hmm. I, I have to just hang on to the fact that it is different now and mm -hmm. that it's coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's Good. just, you know, slower than I like. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. I was I was actually just saying to the, the other lady, too, that, you know, sometimes sometimes we get di really discouraged because it's not as fast as you know you see it happening especially even the way the world makes it feel you know they make you feel like it's you're just gonna go and it's overnight and you're gonna get the success like overnight uh meanwhile the and the truth of the matter is that if they don't say it like that we're not gonna do it okay if they don't say, we're just going to say, no, no, no. The, the reason why it's just a few people that are in the online world is if you look in your friends group, you as in your actual friends that are close to you, relatives and friends, you see that just a few of them are doing what you're doing. Why? Because it's not that easy to do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that easy. Yeah. You know, so, so, but, but you see, the thing is we have to, we have to get that at the clear that there's still a lot of things that I need to learn. There's still a lot of things that I, a, a lot of skills, you know, skills of discovering who is actually an, an hot lead, a hot lead for you. Who is actually. Who, who is a hot lead? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think, well, the one I'm, the, the woman I'm working with, but she's not going to pay me because we're trading. Well, I mean, it is a payment because I'm trading services with her, right? So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that is a payment. And I would say. What, what is she giving you again? Um, I'm part of her membership um, monthly. Um, I was part of her. Um, I got it for free, her beta testing for her sacred um, self program. And she helps me if I'm struggling like with confidence or whatever she helps me with that as well okay okay conversations so it's pretty it's a pretty valuable amount that she's helping me with mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. she tells me that what i'm helping her with is very valuable too um i've been struggling with that <laughs> if that makes sense to you it's like mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you know, um, yeah, and yeah, just struggling with um, like what you were just talking about last mm-hmm. week. I was struggling with that, like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just like to just go already. Like it's just yeah. Yeah. So, so you see the, the, the reason why like days like this, I even want to stay on this same topic is because if we don't get rid of, you know, this struggle, you're going to see it again. You're going to keep seeing it because we, our brains were created and you, you actually now begin to see more of it. Okay. So, so now the, the, the question that I have from there is what exactly is the struggle? Um, I would say just the, um, the lack of not having anyone paying me yet. I think Mm -hmm. that's where the struggle is coming from. It's just like that, why bother kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so why don't we work on getting a client? Well, that would be great. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I've been working on it since, since like, you know, working with Kathy, I've been having those conversations, but I was having them with the wrong people. So that was frustrating. Mm-hmm. And now I'm, you know, I've had the conversations with people who are commenting on my stuff already and they're not ready yet, but you know, I keep having those conversations, but I just haven't figured out. I guess I just haven't hit upon that person who's like really ready to move into the action taking yet. So I'm trying to be patient, but you know, it's so hard. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, I, I, I get you. I get you. I, I get you. And I, and I've been there. So I know what you're saying. You know, I know how you can be really, really frustrated that why bother? Like, it's not working <laughs> if yeah. you can't see any results, right? And then I have the other conversation, like I just said, like I can see, you know, um, the woman today, she's like, oh, yeah, I would really like to connect offline because, or off of this, right, mm-hmm. on her own. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm dealing with. And so I need to follow up with that right after this. And I mm-hmm. just to do that so there are things that are happening and i need to just remind myself but last week was kind of a stagnant week it didn't Mm -hmm. nothing there wasn't Mm -hmm. a lot going on and a lot Mm -hmm. happening so yeah then i find myself getting kind of demoralized and frustrated and Mm -hmm. tired Mm -hmm. yeah yeah Yeah. so so what if what if you know i i want to because the last um so we've had the first week we had, and then this one, and this, this today is number three in, in confidence, okay? Right. Uh-huh. So, so now, and it's all about what you're saying, what you're saying, you know, confidence and, you know, and I'm not bothering on what your camera looks like, look, what your video looks like, because you've got that, right? And that's why I'm not going there, right? Okay. But, but what I want is I want to... If I gave you a challenge today and I say, can you go out and get a client today? I don't know that I know how to do that. Like, I think I just get to a certain point. Like, I still, like, I'm just getting clear on who my audience is. So Mm -hmm. I could, I can follow up with Catch um, today. um, And then I guess... I don't know where to go outside of that. Okay. So um, I know I'm doing all my videos inside of my uh, group and I keep thinking I need to be doing something outside of the group because Mm -hmm. I'm not getting new people. Mm -hmm. Um, So I was thinking like maybe making a post of like, are you ready to just break free of that clutter today? Are you ready to get that freedom to move? Because I posted, it got, what got me thinking is I, I, I don't know if you saw my post today about the, uh, it's not about the stuff. It's about building, creating those memories. So then I was like, well, maybe I need to do some sort of post on my personal and my business page about that. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's one thing that I could do to do that. Yes. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Now, so, so the way, you know, and when we're done with this week now, from next week, 
what we're going to be working on is, you know, things that, you know, like taking some of the videos that you currently have and cutting them into small strips, okay, small things that you can post outside of your group. And you've seen me, you most likely have seen me doing that, right? Uh, aha. So when I do that is to give snippets of what's happening inside. Now, when I post that also, what I also do is I wanted to trigger conversations that would say, you know, tell me more or, or someone just raises their hand in one way or the other. You like it, you comment, whatever it is that you do, we, we continue the conversations, right? And, and then now what I discover in my own field is I meet people that will comment in that, that right now a new wave that is happening for me is the aspect of actually creating this short, short videos for busy um, coaches, okay? So, so now I'll do, and, I, and most of the times, you know, when I come back from this trip now, I'm thinking I want to market that even because now I'm getting more people that are saying, can you just have your team do this for me? Okay. So, so you see, it's another version of, I'm not coaching them. I'm, I'm helping them do it. Okay. So, uh -huh, uh -huh. so, so it's, it's two different services, you yeah. know, even though it's my third chapter, it's the third, uh, pillar. Okay. But, but I now meet a lot of people that would say I'm, I'm just too busy and they're making lots of money, but they want more followers and they know that, and I'm telling them this is what's going to work. Then they're like, okay, why don't you do it for me? Okay. So now I take it and I, I work on it with them. And obviously I charge them premium, you know, to right. do it, you know? So, so these are, uh, things that for you going forward, you're still going to do, you're going to take some of those videos that you have, we're going to cut out. I'm going to show you how to cut some of them out and then you post them on social media. And once you begin to post them on social media, you also, you know, clearly state what you're trying to do with those videos. Now, if I tell, if I tell you today that I need you to go and find one client, three clients. Okay. I really love what you just said now that you can create a post that, and I remember the first three $1,000 clients that I got coaching, I just created a post. Okay. And, and I just created a post and, and I said, I, I can find that post for you, you know, but it's, it's similar to the golden message. I'm going to be taking two clients or three clients that, you know, within the next so, so time. And uh, if this is you, you're looking for this, let's talk. Okay. Send me a DM or comment or whatever. Send me a DM works better because, you know, you don't start to feel bad when you don't see people commenting. Okay. Yeah. And then some other people that are seeing it too would assume that everybody is commenting you and that's why there's no comment. Right. You know, so, so that emotionally and psychologically, it's, it's better to just say, send me a DM, you know? So once you do that, people will actually send you a DM if the message is sharp enough. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. And, uh, and once people begin to send you a DM, but in the, in the message, you already said you're taking on two clients. So anybody that is commenting or reaching out, they are looking for the help and they know that it's not going to be free. Okay. But, but the way, let me, let me even see if I can find something like it. Um, what would I, let me see. I'm going to find a message now. Yeah. This is really helpful because this is what I, I think what was getting me down last week is because I didn't know where to go next. I was like yeah. struggling with the next step. Mm -hmm. in the process because I am yeah. getting I'm really noticing that the live videos are really making a difference and those little reels are making a difference because people yeah. are seeing them now mm -hmm. whereas before mm -hmm. they weren't seeing my posts at all yeah yeah so I'm noticing that but then I was like well how do I take this to the next level, level? like I mean yeah how do I level up a little bit on this and I wasn't quite sure what to do it until this morning when I saw that that post that I made when I saw that and I read it and I'm like, well, I have to be able to take that and be able mm. to make it into something to get people. Yeah. 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 So, um, let me, let me just, uh, 
Let me just find the... Okay. Okay, so the first message that I posted, I just found it. It says, are you a Christian mom or wife who feels that you're having something people desperately need and are willing to pay for? And you've seen many make lots of money during doing something that you can easily do. Let me copy and paste it actually into the chat so that you can read as I read. Okay, so, so this was a message that I posted. I posted it on Facebook and I posted it in a group in WhatsApp, uh, on WhatsApp. So this, this one, I was able to find it now from my church girls group, okay? And, uh, and so at the time, I was only working with Christian women that are looking to, uh, to, to create a business, okay? Okay, so, so it says, you, so you see, it says, are you a Christian mom or wife, okay? Claire, who feels you have something people desperately need and are willing to pay for? Okay, you have seen many make lots of money doing something you can do easily. In short, not just that, not just one, but you have multi multiple interests. So now, you see, it's already defining them. You have multiple interests. You, have, you thought you could do something that people will pay you for, but the problem is you even have a lot of ideas. Okay? And then you also believe that your hobby's income is enough for the family. See the way I'm... I'm verifying that they have money to pay for me. Okay? Okay. You also believe that your hobby's income is enough for the family at the moment. So you feel com compelled to invest time and resources to pursue the dreams you've always had. Okay? Then I said, you're not the traditional 9 to 5 job kind of girl. You see, I'm defining and defining and cutting people off. Okay, you would rather set your own schedule, choose your own clients, and make a difference in the world with your own uniqueness. I'd love to have a chat with you. Send me a private DM. Okay, so so this right here, you can copy and paste it and, and just refine it. And we can actually refine that together, you know, in, in such a way that it's it's going to be so clear who you're talking to. And they know, and you know that they have the money to hire you to help them. And what was I selling here? What I was selling here was eight, eight weeks of work with me for $1,000. Okay. And, uh, and I had a framework, you know, that I help you to fine tune what that idea is. And then, you know, and many of the people that I worked with at the time, you know, got thousands, you know, from, from working with me. Okay. So, so the, the way it works is, you know, I remember the first girl, she's a nutritionist and uh, she did, she, she eventually, what we built together it led her to partner with a gym. Okay. And that gym, they hired her like a part-time um, person on their, on their team that helps their gym members to, to have a plan of what to eat. Okay, so it's they were paying her, and then she also now had the chance. They, she also had the opportunity to also work with those people one on one if they wanted to be her clients. Okay, but the gym was paying her. Okay, so then there was another one that is a translator, and and she got another lots series of gigs. Okay, from her translation business okay and she she was helping people translate from french to english english to french you know but organizations not not individuals you know so so the third one the, the third person quit along the way so there there were three clients that i got from this post that you know the three of them and and i was selling it for a thousand dollars of eight works uh, eight weeks work with me okay so so this is just from a post this and i i think that some of the people that those three, I think two of them may have seen it on Facebook and one may have seen it from the group that I just copied it from. Okay. So now, were those the only two, three people that saw it? No. But I only got three. Okay. So, so now, and then after that, I opt you know, increased my price to 2,500 and, and on and on like that, you know? So, so that's the, the formula is 
once people begin to see you as the expert, as the go-to person, all you just need to do is do the ask. Okay? Do the ask, do a post that would that would make people know that you're doing this for real. You're actually looking for people that want to get results. Okay? And and once you do it, once you do that, some of the people that you are in conversation with right now, they will also jump up. They'll say, "You know what? I need to I need to book a call and, and talk to you. But you have to paint the picture in a way that makes, the, that makes it feel like, oh my God, I really need this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So, so, so for you now, if we're going to, um, let me find my mouse. Okay. If we're going to look for, if we're going to rewrite this for you, can you open a, a page, like share your screen and open a page where, sorry. Oh. You'll have to give me permission to share. Yeah, just just a moment. Yeah, go for it. And so we're going to copy this and, and just rewrite it and, and just create a post. Oh, oh I didn't want to do that. But okay, don't open. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yes, it's good. Okay. So so now let's let's rewrite it for you. Uh -huh. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep going and, and then would, uh, I need to feel, I need, I need to feel it, right? Um, go back here. But I was going to build around okay. this. The truth is that all the stuff here on earth, we work so hard to buy and accumulate does not mean a thing. At the end of the day, people will be cleaning out our stuff, going through our stuff, figuring out what to do with all our stuff. This stuff we are actual uh, we uh, this stuff we accumulate we've accumulated in our lives. The only thing of value that remains are the memories and what we deposit into others. May we all learn to spend less time accumulating stuff and spend way more time making memories. Yep, I love that. I love that. So, so what are you trying to do with that? Well, I was going to use that as the picture mm -hmm. and then maybe do something, um, around that. So when you, when you're going to do a post like this, a, a post that is going to get people, uh, mm -hmm. to take action or, or to get people, you, the picture should just be a picture, an image, not text. Okay. Okay, because if, you, if you're writing a text uh, message and then you put a text image, it's going to be distracting, you know. They won't know which one they should read. Okay, so uh, now if you're going to put an image, you could put a picture of yourself, you know. Like I posted something earlier today and I just put it. I wanted to do a picture picture, but then I played around with it and it turned it into a video. I didn't like the fact that it was a video, but hey, it's already done. But I just wanted it to be a picture. Okay, so so that's um, for this kind of message, I would just put a, a text. Okay. Mm. But the I found that putting a picture draws more people to it. Facebook will share it with more people uh, when there's pictures. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, are you a busy, matured woman? Woman looking to break free from your clutter and create more time and freedom to do things you love to do. Are you a busy? woman are you a busy woman looking the mature i'll build on it later you see the way i i built on it i kind of yeah. uh -huh. so let's let's put I'm the mature oh 
brought in. Um, I don't know what I did with all of that. So, um, I don't know. I'm asking questions. I'm not really building on it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, asking question is good, but, but what I mean is instead of saying all of the qualification in one statement, you can put mature in. Uh, you, you, so, so, for example, you say something like um, uh, you have, like in mine, it says you've seen many make lots of money doing something you can do. So I bring you your mature in your thinking or something like that. You're not a little child anymore and you know that you, your life is now, you know, uh, you're at the stage of life that you feel you should be able to do whatever it is that you feel like doing. You know, do, do you, does that, is that making sense? Yeah. Mm hmm In, in your own case, it's more like you're talking to them like, I know, I get you. You're not a baby anymore. You, we, we, um, you're at that stage of life that life is, you're at the stage of life that you're supposed to be enjoying and, and, and yeah. not having anything that is blocking you. I get it. I, I feel you, you know? Just um something like that. I love that. I love that. You, you. Hmm. Very good. I love, I really love that. Okay. So then keep going. Um. That's probably not. 
Okay, sorry, I was, uh, okay, so you want freedom from all the stuff that has piled up over the years, yours, your families, and you just want, you just wish you could feel, uh, you could feel stress-free in your home and you and be able to relax without feeling like you have to get into the next pile uh, mm, it'd be better but yeah i'm 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 trying to i, I need it to i need i need it let me start again are you a busy matured woman are you a busy woman looking to break free from the clutter from your clutter busy from clutter and create more time and freedom to do the things okay so so what i would want to do there is i'd want to merge one and two together are you a busy woman looking to break free from clutter you feel like you're in that season of life that you should be enjoying life without uh i mean you should be enjoying life without uh let's see without clutter no i don't want to keep repeating clutter okay so uh-huh so comma comma and then uh-huh very good you feel like you're in the season of life that you should be enjoying you should be out enjoying life instead of always trying to tidy and tidy up and clean all the time Okay, you want freedom from all the stuff. You want freedom from all the stuff that has piled over the years. You love what you've, you love your sentimental, you have some sentimental attachments to, don't, don't cut it yet, I'm just still thinking. You have some sentimental attachment to all the stuff, but you're tired of the stress even though some of the stuff is important to you and has sentimental values you feel stressed very good and anxious mm -hmm. by how much I would I wouldn't even I wouldn't even do the stuff I would say by how much the but by, by the 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 way it stops you okay I'd like to focus more on the what is doing to them Anxious by the, by how much it's, or by how much it's affecting your life or health and relationship, something like that. Oh, ability to. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, sometimes this mouse drives me crazy. I do. Oh, how much? <laughs> okay, so. So you want freedom from all the stuff that has piled up over the, over the years, even though trying to get mm -hmm, some of the stuff are important to you and has sentimental values. You feel stressed and anxious by how much is affecting, how much it affects you and your relationship with your family. Okay. Okay. Very good. For you and your family. Uh -huh. how much is affecting your your productivity and relationship does that make sense is productivity important to them what's what's important to them creativity no productivity both both women that have reached out to me are it's about productivity and energy energy very good uh -huh. so, uh -huh. so very good so put that put that in it's affecting your energy, productivity, and relationships. Mm -hmm. Relationships. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now let's, uh, let's jump into what they want. 
So, uh, so they, so wait, are you a busy woman? First, we identify, are you in, you feel like you're in the season of life that you should be enjoying. Instead, you're trying to tidy up and clean all the time. You, even though I won't put the freedom here, I would still drill in the problem. Even though you have sentimental reasons with, you know, I mean, for each this. of them. Uh -huh. So take, you want the field freedom. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yes. Very good. Okay. Even though some of the stuff, uh -huh, um, some of the stuff is important uh, and has sentimental values, you feel stressed and anxious by how much it, it all affects your energy. It, how much your energy, how uh, you feel stressed and anxious by, no, I want it to be, you feel, even though some of the stuff is important to you and has sentimental values. You feel stressed and and overwhelmed, and and overwhelmed by and uh, I wanted to go straight to to your energy productivity and uh, you feel stressed over and overwhelmed and you feel your energy and it's draining your energy you get what i'm saying yeah even though some of the stuff is important to you and it has sentimental value it's stressed and overwhelmed mm -hmm. um because yeah, of uh-huh by by the drain by the drain on your energy productivity and something like that no by how much it drains your energy productivity and relationships by how much or mm -hmm. do you want okay every something or how even could be how time. much or how often or how I want to put some quantity like measures there so that I want yeah, it to so be something that is happening to them every week or something like that. Well, they would feel stressed and overwhelmed because it keeps, it never gets dealt with. So mm -hmm. it just, they move it around and it never gets dealt with. So that's a okay. big overwhelm for them. So. Mm -hmm. Um, they spend a lot of time and energy trying to fix it and you can't, can't organize clutter. So, mm -hmm. um, how much energy productivity, you know, uh, well, you could just say stress and overall, but how much it drains your energy and how it affects your productivity and relationships negatively. Very good. I love that. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then we go to, we can go straight to what they want now. Uh, okay. Or their situation. You're looking, you would love, you know, so, so in my own, I say something like, um, you also believe that your hobby's income is perfect for your family. Okay. So, so something like we want to see where they are. Your time matters to you and you want result fast something like that that's that's too shiny okay but but i'd like to say it in their own words your time is valuable to you and you you do whatever it takes something like that to get your productivity 
and energy. So, so because productivity and energy is extremely important to these people, we need to be speaking it a lot. What are you thinking? I'm trying to think like um, the other thing too is changing the energy within the space to more relaxing and more of a sanctuary as opposed to chaos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so they want they just want to reclaim their space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to. maybe maybe reclaim their space that's that's that sounds um so for example for me if you say you want to reclaim your space i i'll i i don't know what that means so i'm i'm I'm, I'm looking for yeah i'm i'm looking for a word that you you don't need to explain a, a phrase that you don't need to explain that makes something like um you you want to have um you want to be able to do things what would, what would that be i like the word sanctuary you, you know you want your home to to be a sanctuary where you you want to recreate or you want to create a, a sanctuary and relax a ha you know you want to have a home you can relax i love that um and uh vaccine and share very good Me- time and memory with your loved ones not necessarily your family time and memories very good very good mm-hmm. very good and um you're not the kind of girl who wants, who would rather, you're not a nine to five, you're not this kind of person, but you want this, you would rather be this. And then put some really big fancy goals at the end of that. This is just what it is. Um, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. And a home. What, What do they want their friends to say about their home?
that's a good way of saying it, but it's still them. Now, this time around, I wanted to think of what their friends would think of them. Not what they feel. You're a place where their friends can get enough of. Something like that. Because, you know, the, the, the sentiment there is the, you start to speak to their desires of wanting to make a big difference in the world. So if you sell, tell them that their friends are going to really love the place and they don't want to leave, they'll feel like, oh, I'm changing the world, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just thinking of another word for create. Um, mm -hmm. It's not what I want to say, but um, mm -hmm. part of it. And have a home that everyone wants to be. Um, your loved ones, one, yeah, everyone, everyone, yeah, everyone is good, but but I want it to be not just the, even their family, but their the people that that that. Um, See, so, so we're always trying to please our neighbors. We're always trying to please our friends. We're, we're, we're always trying to make, to look good in front of our, not our family, because your family see you all the time. But your, the people that are not your family, that you suddenly, that come to your space, you want to, to feel like, yes, my home is making them let go of their pain. <laughs> okay, right? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. so, so I want that to, if that can come in there, that would be really good. Uh, not just everyone, everyone sounds general, uh, but I'm thinking friends. I want, I want it to be a space where your friends want to gather, okay? That your friends want to gather. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So now, uh, let's see what else is there. Okay, are you okay? Let me read again. Are you a busy woman looking to break free from from clutter, from your clutter? You feel like you're in the season of life that you should be enjoying. You should be out out enjoying life instead of trying to tidy up and clean all the time. Even though some of the stuff are important to you and has a sentiment has sentimental values and have sentimental values, you feel stressed and overwhelmed by how much it drains your energy and how it affects your productivity and your relationships negatively. Your time is valuable to you and you would rather, you would do whatever it takes to regain, you would rather do whatever it takes, you do whatever it takes to regain your energy and become more productive. You want to have a home you can relax in and share time creating memories with your friends, your family and friends. You're not t creating memories, okay? With your family and friends. You're not the kind of person who wants to waste time moving things around aimlessly. Maybe not aimlessly, but, but I want a word there. I want to you know repeatedly something like you you've been doing this all the time you know but you're looking for a better solution and it's it's you know it's it's not working okay and lastly yeah i love that you want to make real change in your li in your life and have a home that your friends want to gather very good okay now that shared time creating memories with your family um and friends it's okay we can leave it there but but just for ease of smooth uh sentences we can we can reword that place also which one 
that place that says uh, you want to the last paragraph and the second sentence you want to have a time you can re you want to have a home you can relax in and share time creating memories with your friends and family okay okay i love that you dream of having a home you can i really love that okay uh a dream of having a home you can relax in and share uh -huh. and share time okay And share time with your family and friends, creating memories. And create memories with your family and friends. Right? Could be that also, if you want to. Make it shorter. Okay? You're not the kind of person that wants to waste time moving things around endlessly. You want to make real change in your life and have, have a home that your friends want to gather in okay so now because of the fact that you have that share memories with your friends and family and have a home the last one that says have a home that your friends gather want to gather in i feel like it's a repetition somewhere there um so so if for example you want to talk about sharing memories with family first and then friends gather later i like the i like the the friends later because it's two things okay and share time with your family creating memories very good okay and then the last one says and have a home that your friends want to gather in very good okay um okay okay let's see then let's find a way let's let's see the the rest of the message says uh choose your own clients da, da, da. okay very good i'd love to have a chat with you and send you send me a private message Okay, so, so something like that. I'd love to have a chat with you. Send me a private message or send me a DM. Okay, so now the question that I would ask you now is the people that are, you, you would need to post this everywhere. Right. Okay. So you post this on your personal, you post this on your page, you post this in, are you in, in any group, any uh, WhatsApp group, anything that your ideal client may be in? I am, but I'm not allowed to, um, to post this kind of message. Post this. Okay. Um, but I do have, I am in some groups that they do have certain days where they allow you to post. Okay. Um, okay. what you do. Mm -hmm. So um i'll just have to wait for that because i think it's every monday for some and okay but i can do that okay another thing that i've tried now when i did this one like i said i just posted it on facebook and and on one group on whatsapp and but the thing at that time was i was doing my podcasts okay so i was doing video podcast every i'm um, audio podcast every week and all of the, the three of the people that bought were my serious listeners. Like they listen to me every week. Okay. So, so it's. Oh, I lost you there. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So it's, it's also, uh, it's, it's also, you know, it's very similar to you using your, um, the videos that you're doing right now. It's like doing live videos and uh aha. so so if these are your we want more of the people that are listening to you to see this message okay, okay. yeah so that's 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 good that's good did we say what we what they wanted let's see, let me see what uh let me see what, what we said they wanted a home they can relax and share time very good very good it's it does it do you feel like it depicts it it's clear yeah, I think it's pretty clear. Um, I mean, you can just, just have to test it, right? And then I yeah. can tweak it. Yeah, it's yeah. Not you test it and you tweak it and you test it and you tweak it. You would know. you, would you, because um, I was writing down when we were talking, um, would I put like, I'm looking for a couple of clients right now in there or no? Um we can try it we can start with this and then 
if you don't get anything with that, you can try it again and add another variation somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. So, so, and when you're going to do that, you can specify, I'm taking on three cl new clients this summer, something like that. And, uh, and then go on, you know, but, but at this stage, I would still want to have conversations even. Okay. And then when they start the conversation, then you tell them, I'm actually getting three clients. If this is you, uh, this is X, Y, Z, what we're going to, to do together to, to make this happen. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Awesome. 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 So now once you, once you do this, everything would be working together. So, so this post now, is going to be in line with whatever it is, you know, say, for example, somebody messages you, uh, what would be your first message? Well, say if somebody says, I, I just saw your post or they like it, they like it or they comment, you know, or they send you a DM directly. What, what's your next action? Um, to ask if I can ask them a few questions. Okay. So very good. I have, um, a few questions like what, find where they are that Kathy gave me. Okay. Um, where are you? Oh, um, what is your goal? What do you feel is stopping you from getting there? Like, this is just be one at a time, right? I'd wait for them to come back with answers. Mm -hmm. What would you love in the way of support? What, what would be possible if you had the support? Okay. So those are great. Those, those are really, those are the questions you need to ask. Um, so for example, let's, let's role play. Okay. So I see this post and I like, and, and I like it. Then you message me. Say, tell me exactly what you tell me. I say, um, hi, Olu. Uh, I saw that you liked my message. Um, and I was just wondering if it'd be okay if I asked you a few questions. Okay. Very good. So, so I, Olu, I noticed that you liked my post about, okay? About, about. Uh -huh. so, so about this and, and what it is, is you should say the dream come true about creating a space a sanctuary in your home, something like that, okay? Uh -huh. And then before we go ahead, okay, something like that, can I ask you, okay, a couple of questions? Okay. May I ask you a few, uh, yeah, uh -huh. a few questions. Yes. So, so that, or something like, so that I can understand how, where things are with you. I'd love to ask you a few questions. Is that okay? Something like that. And then, because some of them would just like, and they didn't send you a DM. So you're getting permission. Okay, so once that's done, the first question, go ahead. So what is your goal? Okay, so I may not want to start with the goal. Okay. Uh, because the goal is, we've already said, with regards to creating a sanctuary in your home or something like that. Creating a space that aids productivity and, and okay. gives you good energy, right? Um, so that's the goal. What I would want to know first is what would be the biggest challenge you're having right now with regards to creating a sanctuary in your home? Something like that. Creating a home that helps you to be more productive and something like that. Anyway. Okay. So, so once they tell you what the challenge is, um, no, maybe not the challenge where they are right now, where would you say you are now with regards to doing this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because challenge is like, is like first night, first date meeting, you know, and you want, you, you just, uh, you, you're asking for more. You're asking for too much on the first uh, question. So where, where are you now with regards to doing this? And then once they tell you that, say, where would you want to be? What, what exactly would you want to see? 
And then the next one could either be how soon or what's standing in the way. Um, or what would be possible if you had support in getting and creating that or no? The, the way I usually say that is I now say something, if they've told me what they're looking for and what they want, I, I say, this is exactly what I do with my clients. I'll be very glad to jump on the call with you and uh, on a quick call with you to see how to, to, to get to know your current situation better and, and show you how we can blah, blah, blah. We can work together. Okay, so how soon or what was the other question you had? Yeah, so so when like when so what I'm trying to get with that is are they like serious now? They want to t they want to result right now. Okay. So so something like how soon when about when would you want that result? Okay. Now, sometimes some people will say I want it right away. You know, and, and then I'll say something like, you know, because you still, sometimes people will just, they are just telling you, they're just talking fluff. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. So, so now when you tell them, when they say, I want it right away, then you say, why? Why, why is that? Why is that important to you? Why do you want to have it now? Okay. Uh, because if you want it now, then why are you not getting it now? Then I say, oh, actually, because I, I always fall down and I always get back up and I da, da, da. Then you say, oh, okay, that's, that's exactly what I do with my clients. And I, I'd be, I, would you like to know what having support would do with you or help you get or help you achieve? And then, <coughs> and then bless you <laughs> i cannot sneeze this one so <laughs> oh my. yeah so so now when 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 people also respond it's before you ask the next question put an exclamation put some statement there that makes you acknowledge what they just told you okay do that Okay. So like, oh, wow, that's amazing. Do you have blah, blah, blah? Right? Yeah, I usually do something similar to that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then um, do you have a strategy in place to do that. Okay. Um, and then if you want, you could now you could if the person is ready right away, you don't need to say I'm going to be sharing something tomorrow. But if you feel like in that conversation, what they're telling you, they need to hear your next pillar. Okay. Then you can, you can say, I'm actually going to be talking about exactly that tomorrow. Would you be able to, uh, do you want me to invite you? You understand? Would you want me to, to tag you so that you can, you don't miss that training? And then I can get back to you after the training to find out what questions you have something like that okay but if you want it faster you can just say yeah we can jump on the call you know well, let's let's see when we can do a quick call to learn more about how you know what i offer uh or where you are you know uh so i love to learn more about where you are and see how we can support you or how i can support you Awesome. So work with that, and uh, and then next week we'll start. We're going to start working on um, on your competence phase. 
Okay. Okay. And uh, yeah, so so we need more conversations. We need more and more and more and more conversations. But this one now would trigger. And, and the way it works is anybody that likes it, message them. If you want also, you can actually direct message it to people that you know are your ideal clients. Just message them directly. And for the private message, you can start with in July. I'm, I'm in this summer, I'm going to be taking three new clients. So you now go, are you a businesswoman uh, or busy woman? Something like that. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Any other thing before we go? This one clarification. When I say this summer, I'll be taking three new clients. Are you saying like do another post with this or this is what I'm saying in the private message? Exactly. For those people that you're sending it okay. privately, uh, you know, and, and you can just write a list of 10, 15 ideal clients that has either liked before or something. Obviously, mess, uh, add them as friends so that you, they can see your message you know and uh, so find 10 people that are your ideal clients all over <laughs> all over facebook and then just add them as friends and send them this but starts with in july or this summer i'm going to be okay i see what you mean okay yeah. okay that makes sense okay awesome 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 okay so so we're done um and uh next week we're gonna jump into competence okay okay perfect. but i really want to see i want to see a, a new clients between the next uh between now and the next two weeks no pressure <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah no for real i do i want to see a client <laughs> uh, i hope so <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so tell me pick, give me a picture of uh, what's gonna feel like you know what's what's this what is it gonna feel like getting your first client in this um i would feel really exciting mm -hmm. um i probably do um what i did when i got my first organizing client and did jump around and then text my husband and my best friend and dance with the dog that's what i did <laughs> No, it's so silly. <laughs> no, no, it's not silly. It's exactly what I will do. I mean, I text my husband and dance around and do some, you know, stand in front of the mirror and <laughs> five yourself. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know, so so and and I want you to realize that, realize it in your mind, and prepare. You know, like do it so that when it happens, you just it's already happened, right? You know, and uh, it, because it helps, it does help. You know, my for for my very first one that I, you know, that those three clients that I was talking about, what I did was I told because as a Christian, I feel like why should I be charging somebody for doing, you know, for just advising them and all that, you know. And so one day I just said to myself, you know what, what I'm going to do is this: I'm going to give five hundred dollars. So I'm charging a thousand. I'm going to give five hundred dollars to the church of whoever is my first one okay so that was for my conscience i was mm -hmm. like yes let's do it because i'm going to be helping god i'm going to be giving this to god right you know and that was what i needed to do and once i said that i was ready there was no block at all in my mind you know uh you know to to talk to people because many of these people are my friends you know so i felt like i'll be doing I, i'm supposed to just be doing this for them for free okay mm -hmm you know so so that was the way i got over that you know so think of something that you may need to do that would you know just get the the feel of nobody should pay me for this okay because that when you have not got your first client online that could also be a, a, a an obstacle in your mind of yeah. nobody should be paying me for this this is free this is you know um and and once you've you're able to figure out one thing you're going to do I got the first clients and I communicated it to them. And I said, if you're getting on, I'm actually going to be giving half of the money to your church. And she was like, oh, really? Wow. That's, 
amazing. Okay. So, and she paid me and I paid $500 to her church. That's awesome. <laughs> so now the second person that came, it was so easy. It was a no brainer. It was just like, yeah. you know, plus I, I know it's, it's actually costing me a lot of time and effort to help this person. You know, I, it was just a no brainer. Okay. Okay. So very good. good. Good very good. good, very good. So next week it's still 11, 11 same yes. time? Yes, okay. we're back to normal now. I'm, I'm not... Uh, You're not I'm going not... off somewhere again? No, <laughs> not now. No, no it's, it's going to be, you know, summers are always very busy, but, but I will, I'll honor my, my time with you. Because um, August, August is uh, likely going to be busy because, you know, I talked about a, a new house, the new house that we're fixing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. so, so we need to finish close the deal, then do the, the, all the renovations, you know, and so it's going to, but it's not far. It's not, it's not far from here, you know, so, so it's just going to be lots of back and forth, but, but I'll definitely uh, clear my schedule for, for this. Yeah, no, I hear you. We, we are doing our yard this year. So, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a yeah. lot of stuff to do. I know, I know. <laughs> and how are you doing that? How are you, you, you hiring someone to do it? No, we're doing it ourselves. So, uh, 